NBC Bay Area responds to an L.A. man and his hassle at a San Francisco hotel. Consumer investigator Chris Kamura looked into it. Audrey, he found the traveler was done in by a 150 year old law that applies to everyone who stays at a hotel. Chris. Good evening. This story might make you lighten your luggage a little bit the next time you leave it at a hotel bell stand. For a baseball weekend, Bob Sabuni and friends chose the Marriott Marquis in San Francisco. When they checked in, the room wasn't ready, so they gave their bags to a bellman and went to the game. A few hours later, Bob returned to the Marriott. Everyone's bags were there but mine. Bob's two bags had been stolen pretty easily. This police report says the Marriott gave the bags to a thief who claimed he lost his ticket. The police report says the hotel security director admitted his staff made a mistake. Basically handed over close to about $9,000 worth of my stuff. Including an iPad Pro and a MacBook Pro. Bob sued, but ultimately he only got $1,000 for his bags from Marriott. Why so little? <laughs> Let's set sail back to 1872. That's when the California legislature wrote the innkeeper's law and capped a hotel's liability for personal property. The innkeeper's law is so old, it makes reference to a guest's valise, AKA small luggage and steamer trunks. When's the last time you saw someone, you know, showing up at a hotel with a trunk? Outdated vocabulary, but current law. We found just once in 150 years that the legislature tweaked the hotel liability cap, upping it to $1,000 in 1979. Dollars have changed since 1979. Floyd Morey is the former Pleasanton Assembly member who sponsored the bill. He says it needs another tweak. More than 40 years later, it's time to really up, update that liability to a number that's reasonable uh, for people carrying bags today. California is not alone. In Nevada, $750 is the max a hotel has to pay when a guest's stuff is stolen. The judge in Bob's case sympathized with him, but said he had to apply California's $1,000 cap from 1979, even though prices have risen. The website saving.org says $1,000 in 79 is $4,000 today. Bob says that's where a new cap should start. And then... It needs to increase with inflation. So to me, the only thing that's going to hold Marriott and companies like that accountable is if this law is changed and it has some real bite. Also, when a hotel is to blame for a property loss, Bob's attorney, Relani Bellows, says guests should be paid in full for whatever they lost. There shouldn't be a cap on that. We asked Marriott about Bob's case. Maybe it would reconsider his claim. We did not receive a response. I'm hoping that somebody in the legislature in California sees this and says, you know what, it's an easy, it's, this is an easy thing for me to fix. We've sent emails to local lawmakers to see if they're interested in updating the innkeeper law. For you, we wondered whether insurance might reimburse you for stolen luggage. The answer is yes, but not necessarily travel insurance. Personal property actually, believe it or not, might be better covered under their homeowners or renters insurance if they have that because your personal property is protected worldwide. Bob had not filed an insurance claim, so we recommended he look into it. He said he will. One more piece of advice for you. Before you give your bags to a bellhop, snap photos of your bags and what's inside them. Bob had to give the cops and Marriott an inventory item by item. Well, that list is going to be much easier to write out with photos to jog your memory. Our team tackles travel trouble all the time. Share your story at NBCBayArea.com. Click the response option from the main menu or call us 888-996-TIPS. Have a great weekend.